It's certainly one of the one of the oldest replies to the meaning of life, um, the purpose of life, is that we're here to be happy. We're here here to pursue happiness. It's even mentioned in the American Constitution that that we have a a right to the pursuit of happiness. Um, uh, it's a paradoxical business, however, happiness, because um, experience seems to teach that if you pursue happiness, if you go after pleasure, you don't get them. Happiness hits you almost on the slant, on the angle, when you're engaged in something else, when you're listening to music, when you're rushing to a date with someone you love, when you're really massively enjoying a great text and you suddenly have a sense of well-being, um, which is probably the word that's beneath the word happiness. In, in Greek it's kind of eudaimonia, this, this sense both of spiritual and physical attunement. Uh, and it's a wonderful state, um, but experience seems to teach that the way to lose it is to chase it. Um, and so it would seem to me that to pursue happiness is always a mistake. Pursue other things, pursue the good of others, pursue a career in music, learn how to paint, learn how to write a book, um, uh, develop your muscles so that you can climb mountains, do any of these things, do pursue an object a good object um, or maybe just a neutral object and happiness might hit you. Uh, it, it comes at an angle to reality. Pursue pleasure for its own sake um, and, and you lose that. I mean, great examples of the way that we, we humans, because we're rather unbalanced creatures, unlike the other animals, who are not very good at living in balance with the rest of nature. We overeat, um, uh, we indulge in all sorts of things, we we drink too much, we get addicted to, to drugs and alcohol and sex because there is something out of tune about us. So paradoxically, seeking happiness through pleasures that can then take us over and imprison us can in fact be a shortcut to absolute misery and there's no misery like like, like the person who's addicted to something she can't give up, even if it's something relatively trivial like cigarettes. So the answer seems to be that we humans need to learn a kind of wise balance in living and that simply to pursue pleasure, to pursue our own ends, is a quick route not to happiness but to misery.